You're watching ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Now, we think of a hospital emergency room as a place of urgent care, a place of healing. But here in the D.C. area and elsewhere, there are growing concerns that nurses and caregivers are becoming targets of violence from patients and visitors. The Emergency Nurses Association says nationwide there are thousands of assaults a week. Only on 7 Tonight, Richard Reeve tells us how hospitals and staffers are trying to stop the violence. <laughs> Virtually any emergency room what is, it? is an enclave of healing. I'm in a profession and I'm supposed to be compassionate and caring. But for some nurses and medical staff, hit, punch, spit at, it's a place of harm and injury. At the time, I just didn't see that one coming. In Nova Loudon ER nurse, Tammy Fitch remembers it like yesterday. In March 2011, she was trying to calm down a drunk, agitated patient when suddenly... She arched her back and kicked out, and I was in the position where I got kicked right in the face. Fitch isn't alone. A 2010 Bureau of Labor Statistics study found 7 of 10 ER nurses have reported physical or verbal assaults by patients or visitors while at work. The violence that's in the street can easily roll over. Former ER nurse Ed Stern says he's been assaulted 10 times during a 30-year health care career. Punch a guy in the bar, you're going to jail. Punch a nurse in the face, maybe you're not. Organizations like the Emergency Nurses Association are fighting back, successfully lobbying to make an assault against an emergency nurse a felony in 30 states. In Virginia, it's a misdemeanor charge, punishable by up to 14 days in jail. D.C. and Maryland have no special statutes regarding ER nurse assaults. This is not part of being an emergency nurse. This is unacceptable behavior. Many nurses will tell you that workplace violence was an accepted part of the job, but that is changing. Beyond the legislative efforts, some hospitals are stepping forward to help. Most hospitals now have secure patient care areas and swipe entries for doors. So first thing we want to do is the punch block. Mm -hmm. Mike Bowen, an Iraq War veteran and licensed practical nurse, teaches de-escalation classes at Inova Loudon Hospital. It teaches verbal and physical restraint techniques. It's not okay to be verbally attacked. It's not okay to be physically attacked. So now we're changing into that mindset. And just maybe making the ER a place of healing without harm for everyone. Richard Reeve. ABC 7 News. Wow. Well, who would have thought about that? Huh? I know you don't think about no, you don't. that. A really serious situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, he's